So often in a British Touring Car Championship season this weekend in Scotland can prove to be a turning point in the title battle. So welcome to Knock Hill. Is this the weekend when Championship leader Ash Sutton at last creates some significant daylight in the title battle? Or will the other challengers hang on just as they did at Croft two weeks ago? It is the 16th round of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship here at Croft. It is go. Kamish converts pole into the lead. Hill goes right round the outside. Really brave move. Dan Kamish is going to win race one at Croft. It's Kamish, Sutton, Robotham. Round the outside goes Sutton. Is that going to give him the race lead? It should. Then he gets sideways and around he goes. Jake Hill spin. Ash Sutton does it again. A seventh win of the season for the championship leader. Colin Turkington is on pole and it's go. Good start from Turkington. That is Sutton, that is Sutton with damage. Contact now, that is Jack Butel, I fear it's the back of Osborne, he's got it all sideways. Can he hang on to it? Oh. Check and play for Colin Turkington, he wins race three from. Ash Sutton must have felt that a win and a second would have put him in charge of the championship battle at Croft, but the race three failings returned with a vengeance. Turkington's win with Ingram following him home meant that the six-point championship lead he brought to Croft was exactly the same when he left. The defending champion Ingram is proving tough to shake off, and Turkington Hill and Sutton's teammate Dan Kamish are all within range as well. There is then a significant gap before the top eight is completed by Josh Cook, Dan Rowbottom and Adam Morgan. BMW still have a slender 14-point lead over Ford in the manufacturer's competition, while it's Ash Sutton's Napa Racing lineup who lead BMW by 90 points in the team's event. Among the independents, Josh Cook had a good weekend at Croft and extended his lead in the Independent Drivers' Championship to 80 points over Aidan Moffat with Dan Lloyd third. And Josh Cook's one motorsport also have a healthy lead in the team's competition. And in the Jack Sears Trophy for drivers who entered the season without a podium finish, it's now Mikey Doble who takes over the lead, but it's a very close battle with Andrew Watson and Sam Osborne. So we've reached the seventh of the ten weekends that make up the championship calendar. Rounds 19, 20 and 21 take place here at what has become the familiar Knock Hill circuit some 20 miles north of Edinburgh. At 1.27 miles, only Brands Hatch Indy is shorter, but its undulations and high curbs guarantee spectacular action and some surprise results. Great start across all cars. Lights out, blast off at Knock Hill. Great getaway by Ash Sutton. Josh Cook slots in behind him as they go down towards Dufferdin for the first time. Jake Hill not able to split the front row cars, and he is going to be third as they head into Dufferdin for the first time. So good getaway by Sutton as they drop down. Now into McIntyre's, the Ford holds sway. And it's one of the raciest performances we've seen out of the one motorsport sport and Starline Racing Honda's this year. Uh, in a sense, a home race. One of the drivers, Aidan Moffat, of course, Scottish driver, as out wide goes Sutton through, goes Cook, they touch. Josh Cook takes the lead, fantastic move and he's done it, damage to both cars, but Cookie is through, he leads. So down to the hairpin with Jake Hill looking pretty threatening in third place now, it's almost three for the lead. Cook has the inside line, Hill has a full dive up the inside to try and make a move against Sutton. It's a drag race up the hill, Josh Cook secures the lead once more. Now, well the rain has now spread all the way up the main straight, it's falling everywhere now, so very shortly there won't be any dry track left. This was coming into turn one, a huge Huge slide, brilliantly held by Cook. It was dry there the last time. Look, it's wet everywhere. Yeah. They're going to have to stop for wet now. Now is the time to stop for wet, absolutely. And look, Chilton on his wet. See how he's escaping. Ingram comes in. He's the first of the leading group to Bales. As Ash Sutton gets crowded to the inside, Cook leads, and then he's got to slow the car down for Duffer's dip. Takes a big, deep breath. Round the outside comes Sutton. There's contact, and off goes Cook. He's heading for the tyres. Josh Cook off the road, into the gravel, into retirement. Look, Cook, he couldn't hold it tight enough, could he? Just couldn't hold it tight enough. And Ash Sutton paddles his way through the chicane. Now it looks properly, properly, properly horrible. He's just managed to catch the slide. He's off, he's through the gravel, he's back on the road. Ash Sutton is having a horrible drive out there. He's on the wrong tyres for the conditions, and he's just got to either survive this as best he can, or sooner or later he's got to bail. Are the safety cars out? 
Well, this is going to change the whole complexion. Ingram is going to win this race. Oh, no, they're coming. Sutton comes in the pits. It's too late. It is. Butcher was the leader. Butcher is in the gravel. And what did you say about Russian? I said, you're either going to crash or you're going to plummet down the order. He's done one. So, but Tom Ingram it is who is going to come down now to the hairpin. He is on target for a 27th career win, a second of the season to win race one of the day. It's been wet, it's been dry, it has been dramatic. Tom Ingram wins race one at Knock Hill. Race two of the day, 24 laps of British touring car action underway. Good start by Hill, good get away by Collard, but the gap ahead of him suddenly narrows. He tries to go to the inside, not a great start by Watson, so Collard jumps him to go third. Jelly's up to second, it is the BMW's first and the second. Hill ahead of Jelly, good get away by Collard. Watson is already under attack, Collard makes a mistake, he goes wide, and Sutton is through on the inside line already to get up into third, and Collard tumbles backwards. He's ready, good restart by Hill, who will and pull the gap coming into the heckle and look at this the other side with Stephen Jelly now the rear gunner he can hold Sutton up and let Hill get away as in the background a big big dive the Vauxhalls are side by side there through on the inside uh, goes Aaron Taylor Smith to try to get himself up past Andrew Watson as they run now down towards the hairpin so Aaron Taylor Smith has already cleared Ronan Pearson and now he gets ahead of Andrew Watson so ATS on a big big push here and this was the move that gave Sutton second on the inside out of McIntyre's, through on the run up towards the chicane. Brave stuff, but beautifully done. Yeah. And Sutton fractionally quicker than Jake Hill. There is Josh Cook, he's another of the big names working his way forward. And Cookie is already up into 16th place. That's a good effort as Tom Ingram comes through. He's up into 14th place now. He's got ahead of uh, Rob Huff, and so also is Rory Butcher. This is Huffy's view Butcher versus Ingram. They are together going down the hill. So Cook with his charge, is 12th, and Ingram is now 14th. And Dexter Patterson is ahead of him as they come out of the chicane. And Cook is always so committed there. It's a much shorter line, so he's got the run onto Bradley straight. He's going to be through, is he, as they go into the right-hander? Yes. Bit of tar smoke, but the job is done. Another place is gained. That puts him 11th. Replay of Jake Hill launching it over the curb. Look at that. Fantastic. It lands, it bounces, but he keeps it away from the gravel. And as George Campbell and Tom Ingram come side by side over the line, this is for 10th place. Ingram's going to go through on the inside line, 26th to 10th. Cook is up to 9th, by the way, just up the road ahead of him. So two tremendous drives, one from Ingram, one from Cook. So it really does count. Sutton right on the back this time, right on the back. Now, it's the first time we've seen Hill have to fend into McIntyre's. So uh, Sutton's really mounting an attack at the moment. One corner to go, Jake Hill leads. Is it going to be win number four? Sutton tries one, last roll of the dice. Can't do it, Jake Hill comes out of the corner ahead. Up towards the line they come, Sutton accelerates the flag. Jake Hill wins for the fourth time this year. Great drive by Jake to withstand the pressure from Ash Sutton. And so for the third race of the day at Knock Hill, we go racing. Ronan Pearson leads the way. Ricky Collard, nine tenths of a second back in the spray. In third place is Dan Lloyd, and here come the heroics up the inside line, a big dive by Tom Ingram, and he goes through on the inside of Andrew Watson. What a move! Well, he started the way he means to go on as Tom Ingram. Collard is about to lose out to Dan Lloyd, who goes second. They touch as they come over the line, and Collard and Lloyd mirror to mirror. They touch again, going into Duffer's dip. Collard hits the curb, hits Jelly, bounces wide. Sutton goes through. Collard off the road, back on again. Jelly takes evasive action. Jake Hill is right there behind them as well, but Ricky Collard loses a couple of places. He gets a tap in the back from Hill that turns him slightly sideways but he saves that Lloyd versus Sutton as ahead of them of course Ronan Pearson tries to build that gap and a battle behind would really help him yeah oh that was uh, Jake Hill into the back of Jelly his teammate Jake Hill has now had another mistake he had two mistakes up at Croft uh, jo Josh Cook getting the better of Butcher of Collard sorry round the outside he holds the position is it going to be further contact this is dangerous down here Cook goes wide, Ingram tries to get through as well. Collard gets back ahead, that's Sutton going second at the expense of Lloyd. So it's Pearson now with Sutton bearing down on him. Right, Pearson's going wide at the hairpin. Here comes Sutton up the inside, and he's going to be ahead as they get to the strike. So Ash Sutton leads the way over the line. Ronan Pearson could do a lot worse than just sit there and learn. Shadow him home now. Right, me time. Josh Cook here, fastest man on the circuit, about to go third on the inside of Dan Lloyd. If anybody deserves a win today, it's Josh Cook after the travails of race one, and he's on a mission. Oh, now this is closer for second, isn't it? Between Pearson, Cook to the outside. 
It's better breaking on the outside. He's cleanly round the outside before they even turn in. Ingram on the back of Pearson then. And Tom goes for the inside line. And Ronan's going to let him go, or is he? Because they run side by side. Yes, lots of racing room before it. Oh, a little bit of contact between the two. Ingram goes by. Ash Sutton, he's going to win for the eighth time this season. Sutton wins at Knock Hill. Ash Sutton's eighth win of 2023. And he's eight seconds plus ahead of Josh Cook, who comes through best of the rest, effectively, for the one motorsport team in second place. So that's it, an amazing day here at Knock Hill. Uh, Ash Sutton left Croft uh, two weeks ago, wondering why he wasn't further ahead in the championship. He leaves Knock Hill today, trying to understand why he's so far in front. It'll all start to make sense at Donington in two weeks' time. Join us then. Bye-bye.